Hey, coming up later, Billy Crystal is the shrink for mob boss Robert De Niro. Coming up next, sneaky teenage mind games in Cruel Intention. She's young, supple. She'll be my greatest victory. I just didn't feel right about it. You're telling me you had the chance and you didn't? God, are you a chump. Sarah Michelle Geller and Ryan Philippe are Catherine and her stepbrother Sebastian, rich Manhattan preppies in that scene who play wicked sex games in Cruel Intentions, a remake of the same 18th century novel that inspired three other films, including Dangerous Liaisons. Those films are about jaded Europeans. This film is startling in the way it imports their decadence to America, updates it, moves it down a generation, and makes it, if anything, even more cynical. In the movie, Catherine makes her stepbrother a bet that he can't seduce a virtuous girl at their school. If I win, then that hot little car of yours is mine. And if I win? I'll give you something you've been obsessing about ever since our parents got married. His target, the virginal Annette, played by Reese Witherspoon as the school headmaster's daughter. She has just written a national magazine article against premarital sex. Would you mind turning around so that I could put on my bathing suit? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's so embarrassing. You know, it amazes me someone as charming as you could be so manipulative. Sebastian also toys with a sweet but naive teenager named Cecile, played by Selma Blair. You know, you could be a model. Really? It's too bad you're not sexy. I can be sexy. At least Cruel Intentions is upfront about its depravity. Geller and Philippe have surprisingly good chemistry, and the underlying story remains a strong one. I kept having the odd sensation that I was looking at a high school production of a growing up play, but it was a good production, spirited, and I liked it. I think it's cynicism from an aerosol can. It's <laughs> like a high school play with sock puppets. I mean, it's a movie that attempts to be very smart, but John Hughes has already preempted these guys with this stuff. He's actually made a bunch of really interesting versions about this kind of movie. And what he does is he actually brings romance into the heart of cynicism, which in the end is what the real Dangerous Liaison is all about. But Hughes never gets really down to the same kind of decadence that this movie has. I mean, the th thing that shocked me about this movie is how frank it was about its sexuality and how upfront it was about it. I don't know. It's, it seems like though they just kind of lack a certain inner life, which is what made this thing a real comedy and a real tragedy. But I mean, you, well, Sarah Michelle Gillar, though, and, and Philippe, I, it seemed to me that in their scenes together, they did have an inner life. I mean, they were really kind of drawn together magnetically by this both sexual and personal rivalry. See, I feel like I was watching a Vogue spread playing out in front really? of me. I think she's a really good actress. Mm -hmm. I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but the two movies I've seen her in, but between Simply Resistible and this, I've not yet seen her give a chance to sort of play from the inside in a way that I know that she can do. Oh, well, but she, she's really glib in a way that makes it uninteresting. That would be another movie. I mean, I like Simply Irresistible too. I think she has it on the screen. I think she really does. Kind of it to me more in a way, and I'm sure that someday she's going to get better scripts and so forth, but I think that in this movie, there is something going on. Well, I wish there were something going on in this movie. But coming up next, gangster Robert De Niro makes psychiatrist Billy Crystal an offer he'd like to refuse and analyze this. Feel better? Yeah, I do.